my husband of six years, uh, my high school sweetheart, uh, was killed on November 26, 2012. Uh, he was an Illinois State Trooper who uh, was on a traffic stop, uh, and then he was hit by a uh, distractive uh, semi-truck driver that um, took his life. So after that horrible day, um, I've learned to raise our kids on my own. Um, Kaylee was four, Camden was 10 months. Um, it's just, it's, it's been something where it's a blank slate. You don't know what you're doing. You don't know where to go for comfort. You don't know, there's no, there's no guidance. It's just when you go through losing your husband tragically, it's just one second your life is just totally upside down. Um, and so my brother actually made a gift for me. He made me a wooden box and just said, I thought maybe you'd like somewhere to keep the important things of Kyle's that you access and wanna see fairly often. Um, so he gave me this box. Um, he, he burned uh, Kyle's name on the top and his badge. And, um, and when I got it, I was just like, oh, that's, that's kind of neat. And um, then I started putting things in it. And I put things in it where I knew I wanted to keep these items, but I didn't know where to put them. I didn't want to put them in just a tote. I didn't want to pack them away. Um, things like his wallet and his wedding ring and his phone, his toothbrush, um, chapstick, his, um, my favorite shirt of his, uh, his cologne, things like that, where I would just, uh, when I was having my moment, I'd go to my box and open it up. I'd spray his cologne. I'd have my, my moment with my Kyle stuff and things that remind me of him. Uh, and then I close it and keep moving forward um, because I needed that. It, it's, it almost just represented that I needed to, to put Kyle where he needs to be because I have to raise my children and I have to keep living life. Um, and it's, it's so hard, but it's, it's just nice to have somewhere to put those things other than a cardboard box or a tote. Um, well, I started, um, wanting to make gifts for other police officer, um, families who've lost their uh, loved one in the line of duty. Um, but I realized quickly that making boxes like my brother made for me was going to be very expensive and I couldn't maintain making all these boxes. So I needed to find a way to fund these um, without going the nonprofit route. Uh, it's just not something I was I was comfortable doing. Um, so I created comfort and keepsakes so that we can provide these gift packages and custom memory boxes. Um, to be given as sympathy gifts uh, or for people to purchase for their own use um, and then use the money from that to help fund gifting these boxes to families of first responders. Um, it's been an incredible, the, the most important feeling of the comfort and keepsakes is when you give the box to someone, it's the it, it creates this relationship from the person giving to the person receiving, and it when the person receives this gift, it's it's unlike any other because it is it's going to be used. It's going to last for a long time. Uh, it's not disposable. Um, it's when, once you give a box, you get that feeling like. I've done something that's going to help them. Um, or you give them the sympathy gift package with, um, it's got nine, nine items where everything in there is something that was given to me after I lost my husband that helped me. Uh, not only do I have a sample of all those items in there, I've got a card that describes this is why this is in here and this is how it can help you. So like I said, there's really no guide to um, becoming a widow or losing someone really close to you. So I tried to create something that can be used as a guide to help give comfort and guidance to those who are grieving. Mm -hmm.